Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to solve the integration problem by partial fraction. We notice the numerator degree is 3, denominator degree is 3 and it is not a rational function. So to convert into rational function, we have to divide the numerator by denominator. So let's do the long division. So x cube minus 1, we are going to divide by x cube plus x. So if I multiply with 1, we get x cube plus x and we are going to subtract so we have to change the sign of all the second term then we can cancel x cube minus x cube and the remaining is minus x and minus 1 so minus x minus 1 is remaining so we got quotient remainder and divisor after the long division we have to write in the form quotient plus remainder by divisor now this will be 1 plus remainder is minus x minus 1 divided by x cube plus x into dx. Let's split this into two part integral dx. Another part is minus x minus 1 by x cube plus x dx. Let's take this as i1 this as i2. Coming to i1, that is in, after integration x plus c1. Coming to i2, let's take the expression alone. So we have minus x minus 1. Denominator, let's take x common. So we get x square plus 1. And it is a non factorizable quadratic expression, which is x square plus 1. So we have to apply the partial fraction rule a by x plus bx plus c by x square plus 1. We have to take LCM. LCM is x into x square plus 1. So here it is a into x square plus 1 plus bx plus c into x. We notice both the sides the denominators are same. So we are going to equate the numerator on both the sides minus x minus 1 equal to a into x square plus 1 plus bx plus c into x. Let's take some suitable value for x to find the constant a, b and c. The first value we are going to take is 0. So this will become minus 1 equal to this is just a and this entire term is 0. So we got the value of a which is minus 1. In the same way, I have to take another value but we don't have any other factor to make some term as 0. So we are going to equate the coefficient of x square on both sides. So let's compare coefficient of x square on both sides. Now coming to the left hand side, we don't have any x square term. So it is 0 equal to, here it is a x square. So coefficient is a. And here it is bx square, the coefficient is b. We already got the value of a. So by substituting the value of a here, 0 equal to minus 1 plus b. And this minus 1 will be taken to the other side. So b value is 1. So we got two constant values. Now coming to the another constant c, let's compare the constant terms on both the sides. So on the left hand side, the constant is minus 1. Right hand side, the constant after multiplying is a we get a as one constant and uh, here we have only x square and x term so comparing constant on both the sides is not giving any value of the another constant c we are getting a as one sorry minus one which we already got so instead of comparing constant term on both the sides let's compare the coefficient of x so left hand side it is minus x so the coefficient is minus one and here the first term is x square term and another is constant term. Then x is multiplied here b x square term, then c x. So the constant, sorry, the constant c when multiplied with x, we get c x. So the coefficient of x is c. So directly we got the value of c which is minus 1. After getting the values of a, b and c, we have to substitute that in the term where we apply the partial fraction rule. So a by x, a is minus 1. 
so now minus 1 by x integral dx plus integral dx 1x plus c which is minus 1 by x square plus 1 into dx so we substitute the value of b and c and denominator is x square plus 1 now we have to split this into two parts so first term is minus integral dx by x second term is x by x square plus 1 dx and third term is minus integral dx by x square plus 1 so this is minus log mod x and this one we have to take substitution t is equal to x square plus 1 so dt equal to 2x dx but we have only x dx so this 2 will be taken to the denominator so this will become plus integral dt by 2 by t then minus and this is a direct formula tan inverse x plus c now this will become minus log mod x plus 1 by 2 dt by t which is log t and I will replace the t also t is x square plus 1 minus tan inverse x plus let's take this as c2 now we have to combine both the answer so i is i1 plus i2 i1 we got x and rest of the terms we have to copy as it is then we had two constants c1 and c2 and both the constants combined together and written as a single constant c